creepy passes are just the best thing for Halloween and something that it creates an iconic characters but also takes something from our childhood and turn them into something that we will adore or scared of or something very interesting that we would never think of but also shows the creativity of how creative people can be. Today's video is going to be an interesting one while I'm going to look at my five creepypastas that I think are the best in my opinion. I will attempt to read snippets of the creepypastas. If I struggle to read or fail outright then yeah that's my dyslexia for you and it kind of sucks. But this is the time for these creepypastas to shine and if you have an interesting one comment down below and links in the description for these creepypastas. So at number 5 is Smile Dog. This disturbing little image right here is a dog with a husky body and a disturbing human smile with a really red hand in the background with very strange windows. It's an interesting creepypasta nonetheless and with the snippet we'll be looking at very shortly which is right about now. Smile Dog's story is a classical horror setup. For you in this image creates insanity and no copy of the existing image exists on the web through likeliness of to, to it do. The true image of Smile.jpg is recognized due to the effects it has on the viewer. That is that is they wind up they wind up dead and end up going insane and many other things. Now obviously this image is pretty much saying you look at it, you go insane. And basically, if you want to get this out of your mind, you have to spread it. And it's kind of like the ideal of the human mind as a computer, as spreading the message removes the virus, and that we're just the ability of spam. And by God, if this was a real thing, I think people would be going insane left and right. Cover-ups, FBI, you know, the typical things. But this is very iconic and very interesting and pretty well done creepypasta to read. So number four is the disturbing rake. The rake is an interesting character as you want to keep your children well away from it and make sure you have a shotgun with you. And yes, the rake did have a game but unfortunately it fell flat on its face and it's now something to really be sad about. But the rake, original rake, the creepypasta itself is a quite interesting one and a very disturbing character nonetheless. With the creepypasta saying, During the summer of 2013, events in northeastern United States involving a strange humanoid like creature sparked brief location media internet before an appearance blackout was extended. Little or no information was left in intact as most online written accounts of the creature was destroyed mysteriously destroyed English failure yet again now the rake is an interesting creepypasta well creature as it's a being that you see in the woods and something you want to stay at the hell away from it's quite interesting as anything that looks humanoid and looks different or doesn't look human is considered more scary but something that has a human figure to it could be more nightmarish than something that completely looks no human. People could be scared of people, but people who are scared of something that looks human make you judge things that anything could be possible. But keep your kids well away from this guy. He'll just m make sure they're nothing but munchies. I'm going to get a shotgun for this one. So at number three, it's the Slender Man, a well-known iconic character and a well-known creepypasta all around the internet. This character was seen in mythology and many theories beyond his existence and if you don't know who he is I guess this little snippet of information will help you out. If you already know about him then it's pretty easy. The Slender Man is a being male in appearance who looks like a man with extendable ex extremely long slender arms and legs he also appears to have four to eight long black tentacles that appear from his back through different photographs and different degrees on his face and therefore those phase he can create 
those tentacles at will. Well, command them. So the Slender Man, as you can see, he's a mysterious being. If you end up in a photo with him, you are most likely never to be seen again. And that is a fact, as most people in photos never seen again. But besides being an iconic character, he's well respected in the creepy parts of the community, but also respected in gaming. There is the game called Slender the Eight Pages, where you, a mysterious character, collect eight, pe eight pages, whatever the fuck reason you do that, and you have to try and avoid Slendy. By God, if that if he was in real life, I think I would be running for my life. But again, there's no point running. He'll catch me with his tentacles. Oh God! But number two is an interesting one: is where bad kids go. This one's all about the disappearing, or pretty much punishing children for bad behaviors, but also using hor horrifically words and showing graphical imagery to make sure children behave. Quite disturbing, none the least, seeing that this kind of thing happens in the past. And as the creepy pastor is saying, I must have been six or seven when I lived in Lebanon. The city was ravaged by war, and at the time the murders were common and frequent. I remember during a pr program fire era when the bombings really stopped. I would stay home, still in front of my television, watching a very, very strange show. It was a kids' show that lasted about 30 minutes. Strange and sensory images. To this day, I believe I was. Well. I'm not going to read any further, you can read the rest yourself. But it has the ideally of using graphical images and videos to show children not what to do. And since it's set in the path, past, people could basically believe that this could have actually happened in a ravaged war. And with that saying, in the middle of war, punishment is horrible and seeing as these monstrous things happened a long time ago and seeing as they're done and over this could be hap this could happen in any countries and it could be for real but we really don't know but this is like a TV creepypasta and it's quite interesting none the least but nothing what we have coming up at number one this creepypasta I believe is the best and very interesting set in the past and it could be for real the Russian sleep experiment. By God, the Soviets loved experiment on prisoners. And this was a common thing in World War II. Soviets doing this. And obviously the Nazis would have done the same thing. But this made a lot more sense and it could be more believable. As this is something what the Soviets would have actually done. I will do my best to read this all. The only remaining subjects that could speak started screaming to be sealed in now. His brain waves showed the same flat lines as one who had just died from falling asleep. The commander gave the order to seal the chamber with both subjects inside as well as three researchers. One of the named three immediately drew his gun and shot the commander point blank between the eyes. They turned the gun on the mute subject and blew his brains out as well. He pointed his gun at the remaining subject, still restarted to be a bed as the remaining members of the medical and research team fell fled the room. I want I want I want I won't be locked in here with these things, not with you. He screamed at the man, stop, stabbed, to stamped at the table. What are you? He demanded. I must know. The subject smiled. Have you forgotten so easily? The subject asked. We are you. We are the manners that lurks within you, all begging to be free at every moment in your deepest animalistic mind. We are what you are hid from in your beds every night. We are what you sedaced into sleeping. And so on and so forth. And obviously, with the end of the creepypasta saying, so nearly free. This basically shows of the insanity as people can be, and how become sleep keeps our sanity in check. How going to sleep keeps us sane, but if we don't go to sleep, we will turn into animalistic monsters, begging to be awake, and turn to something that is even scary. 
This makes me think of something like us humans, we are monsters ourselves, but when we sleep, we keep our animistic minds, the creatures inside of us that we are, sedated forever from our sleep. And when we ever give them a chance to be free, that's when shit hits the fan. But this turns out to be the past of the past, and it could happen for real, or to anyone. You better get your sleep, or you will go insane and many medical problems with that mind. So, I hope you enjoyed my top 5 best creepypastas. I know I've been some English fail or been a bit slow or struggle, dyslexia, you know, or the usual crap that disabilities can be a pain in the ass. But if you enjoyed it, comment down below, like the video, links in the description for every creepypasta if you want to have a good read. And also comment down below what's your favourite creepypasta, because I would like to hear your opinion guys, and I'll see you all next time.